All right, for this problem, it tells you that silver nitrate is dissolving and um, into pure water. And it says, is the delta G for the dissolving of silver nitrate positive, negative, or zero? Meaning, is this spontaneous or not? So if you think about silver nitrate, remember, all nitrates are soluble, which tells me that this dissolving is going to be spontaneous, which means delta G is going to be negative because silver nitrate is always going to be soluble in water. Therefore, it's a spontaneous um, process, or you can say it's thermodynamically favorable. So you got one point for that. In B, it says, is delta S for the dissolving of silver nitrate positive, negative, or zero? Justify your answer. Well, if you're taking a solid and breaking it up into its ions, you're increasing disorder. Therefore, because you have more ions uh, in solution for your products, you're going to be increasing your disorder, and entropy is going to be positive. So you got one point for that. For C, it says the solubility of silver nitrate increases with increasing temperature. What is the sign of delta H for the dissolving process? Okay, so if you if the solubility of AgNO3 is increasing, what that means is if I'm going to go back to the reaction, I'm shifting towards my products. So when I increase my temperature, I shift towards my products, which means my delta H must be on my reactant side, causing that shift to the right, and therefore it is an endothermic process. So the delta H must be positive, okay? In order to increase solubility, it's gonna cause it to proceed to the products, therefore heat must be absorbed. So your delta H must be greater than zero. So you got one point for noting the correct sign of delta H and having the correct explanation. In II, it says, is the answer you gave in part A consistent with your answers in B and C? Meaning, do B tells us that delta S is positive, C tells us that delta H is positive, which means that the delta G can be negative if the temperature is high enough. Since delta H is positive, that does not contribute to the spontaneity. However, delta S is responsible for your delta G being negative. So del we say that delta S is driving the reaction. So yes, it is consistent in, this, in the sense that your delta G can be negative as long as your temperature is high enough. Next, it says the compound NaI dissolves in pure water. According to the equation, NaI produces Na, Na plus and I minus. Some of the information in the table, so it shows you all of the different uh, reduction potentials. An electric current is applied to sodium iod, sodium iodide solution. Write the balance oxidation half reaction for the reaction that takes place. So this problem gets people over and over again. Remember, if I have sodium iodide being dissolved in water, and I um, impart an electrical current on it. Remember, there are going to be four different possible reactants. I've got Na+, I've got I-, and I have H2O, which means those first two half reactions there, water and iodide, those have to be flipped because water and, and I- minus have to be reactants, which means those are my two possible oxidation reactions. So even though this is not spontaneous, I still want the cell potential that is going to be the least negative. So since the water one's going to be negative 1.23 and the iodide one's going to be negative 0.53, I want to use the iodide one since that's the least negative. So you would write it I minus two I minus gives you I2 plus two electrons. In II, it asks for the half reaction, the reduction half reaction. So here, again, I have water as a reactant, which is exactly what I want, and sodium as a reactant, which is what I want. Because remember, we want sodium ions, iodide ions, or water. So which of those is least negative? Well, the water. And so that's going to be my reduction half reaction. In III, it says which reaction takes place at the anode, the oxidation reaction or the reduction? Well, the oxidation occurs at the anode. IV, all electrolysis reactions have the same sign for delta G. Is the sign positive or negative? Okay. Well, since electrolysis reactions are not spontaneous or they are not thermodynamically favorable, their delta G is going to be positive. 